Hi everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard. I did a little upgrading and look at Valara's spiffy new outfit. And also, I figured out something with my armor. Apparently, the little extra abilities that you see down there are locked. I guess I should have guessed that from the lock symbol, but... Ah, such is life. Anyways, we are going to head out to the Veil Jumpers camp way out here. Um... I don't remember how I got there last time. I don't know if it was over here. But I guess that's where we need to go. But we're gonna head out to the Veil Jumpers camp, see what they need help with. Let's see if we can figure this out. Yeah. No. These well. are the old aqueducts. They supplied water to all of Arlathan. I want the treasure. Give me that treasure. There's a lot of stuff in here that I could go and explore, but I want to help with the side quests first. Maybe we'll just naturally get them anyways. Another owl. There's another. Another owl. What? Oh, here it is. Watch out! <laughs> Somebody was sleeping there. Oh. Look at that. There we go. Pick that down. Open that. Nice. Anything different? Okay, so I do get them in into regeneration here. I kind of want that more. What's this? I was wrong. These owl statues are dangerous. I think they've been booby-trapped by some nefarious force. Whatever noble pur purpose they once served has been twisted to ensnare foolhardy explorers like me. Beware. Ooh. A treasure. Smoked sausages are valuable. Anyways. Well, there's something happening over there. There it is. That's the Veil Jumper camp. I'm gonna try and figure this all out. And we'll go from there. Watch out. Oh. What? That relic just went off. What happened to that Veil Jumper? He was right here. Oh, this isn't good. We need to find him. But how? That way? Man, <laughs> how did that happen? He just stood there while it was going weird and crazy. This is where we went with Davrin. That's incredible. Oh, I guess we One didn't talk about this relics with Davrin. The jumpers were dealing with must be nearby. Hi. <gasps> Oh, big old flashbang. Hmm. A spatial anomaly. We can't reach that veil jumper unless we find some way around it. Hmm. Okay. Oh. There's something up there. Got it. One relic down, more to go. Hard to believe these things are causing so much trouble. Jump. The obviously shaped rocks. <laughs> Give me that treasure. Okay. That was one. Thing around this way? No. Somewhere else. Oh, there's a dude. Yeah, okay? You, you saved me. I'm, I'm saved. I'm alive. Yeah. I was working on the relic, and then everything went dark and quiet. 
It felt like nothing and nowhere. Uh, I'll catch my breath and make my own way back to camp. Okay. There are others missing. We'll continue searching for them. There's one that way. And another dude that way. Oh, there's four people. All together. Hmm. Well, there's one over here this way. Have some heartwood there. Hello. It's like another relic nearby. Okay, but get out of there. Yes. Oh crap. I was trying to get out, but my button wasn't working. There's something around here. Where's the relic though? Maybe it is back up there. I didn't see anything though. All locked off. Hello. Hold on, let me go that way. Whee. But I don't hear you. There's something here? Maybe it's down here. Man, I don't see anything. I'm gonna go this way. Activated. Hmm. Something going on there. Okay. some of these people. Nug me. Liliana would not be happy. Okay. <gasps> Come on. Another weird thing. Hello! Is anyone out there? This one's obvious. That's probably one of the missing veil jumpers. Let's get that barrier down. Must be a magical relic caught on this. Calling and no one came. It felt like an eternity, and the shadows were so dark, so dark. But I'll be all right. I'll make my own way back to the camp. Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> that makes it easier for me. Okay, is there something back here? Some sort of thing here, but we can't go that way. Something back this way that I can get to. Thanks again for dinner last night, Lucanus. That cream sauce. Ooh. A little mustard makes the difference. Though, my supplier in Treviso is... Oh, so... Hey, uh, what's the best thing you've ever eaten? Something fancy? We ate everything. Magical relics is close. But where? I was trying to move and you're not letting me. Yeah, I heard you ate a prisoner's nightmare. Is there something up here? I mean, I didn't see anything. But where? Where is the bear? Where is the relic? I don't see it, man. You see it? I see something through that, but not... Not a thing. I don't see anything. Relics stirring things up. Stuff in here for me. Nope. Oh, thank the creators. Did Elio send you? I have to talk to him once I return to camp. It's so odd. I've seen relics like that before. I know how they work, but this one, it was wrong. Can't even see your face You're behind me. All right, so that's that one. And then there's another person the other way. Way down the other way. Yeah, that way. Let's see. I can get this person out is easy. But who knows? There's the weird tree legs again. Thank you. Okay. I bet one of those magical relics is close. Griffin did. Hi, son. What's this? What did that do? Hope you find this, Elio. I fear something may be happening to me. There's a presence following me for two days. I cannot shake it. Be careful and warn the there others. There are Abalos, Lethaline. And Asal and Ast. Hmm. I think that's everyone. Let's get back to Elio. Alright, where's Elio, though? Oh, way back at camp still. I guess that dude got buried alive. Oh no. I've never seen anything like this. The whole forest is in chaos. Yeah. Everybody came back except for that one dude. I found most of your friends, but one didn't make it. I'm sorry. 
We... We all know the risks. But it's still difficult when someone gets hurt. There's one last relic out there we never found. If you come across it, be careful. I think someone's meddling with the magic in Arlathan. I'll try to be safe. Nice. So how much does that increase their bond? Hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't have the sort of stuff that I want. But if I look at my companions... Okay. So, raises them a little bit. This one better? Oh, it does more. Done. Let's do that one. Cool. Uh, do I want to try and go do that other quest? Because I could not figure it out for the life of me, so... I think I found the way to get to this area, because I think if you come down the ladder from the Tattered Bridge beacon up there, and then you blow up the stuff that's here, you find a ladder that gets us to this area. This is where Taenor was headed. There's Blight here. She didn't mention that. You knew? Blight spreads fast. Uh, to whomever find this, it was as I expected. The relic we were sent after was blighted, or it had some connection to the blight. The corruption was on me before I knew it. I'm glad I sent Taenor home. I cannot let the blight spread. I'll find some way to destroy this thing if it's the last thing I do. Oh, not good. That relic ended up blighting Oros. Thing around here. Gotta find all the blight boils. Something up there, but can't see how to get up there. Some way over here. Oh, oh here. <gasps> Seems he managed to destroy the relic. Ugh. Taenor and Gus must be out here somewhere. We'll keep looking. Now I can actually get through here. I was going nuts trying to figure out how to get through all this. Is this one more boil? This is the way we get back into this. Okay. Dark spawn. Wait. What? I think that's Taenor. No. Let's see. 
so sorry, Tainor. You didn't deserve this. One more veil jumper I'm to sorry. find. Sorry. The tracker, Gus. Let's hope we can still save him. He's somewhere in here. Not sure where though. Oh. Uh, Jesus. No. Not what I meant to do. This needs to be moved up. No, not that either. There we go. He just wasn't wanting to do it. No, this one. It's really finicky, isn't it? Oh, you can hit the ladders to make them come down, huh? It's interesting. Okay. Still not seeing anybody. Maybe he's in this little room back here. No. But there's something in here. That opens up. Careful ahead. Ah. I grab him. Go back and find Gus real quick. Trouble ahead. See them to battle. Well, why are you guys here? By those bushes. Oh, here we go. It was something different. A collar? This says Gus. Wait. The tracker Taynor talked about was a nug. Oros's companion nug. <sighs> Let's get you home, little one. His little nug. Bring the nug home. That's what we were looking for? We were looking for Gus, the Nook. Okay. Well, I guess that's that done. There's some sort of thing over there, but eh. Not too worried about it right now. At least I got the quest finished. Well, almost finished. 
I hope Tana is all right. Like I haven't it. seen her in days. Bring him back. That's Gus. I wondered where he was. Haven't seen Oros or Tainor in a while either. I'm sorry. Gus was the only one I could save. Oh, creators have mercy. Poor Gus. Do you think he understands? Oh, yeah, I, I, I suppose mental. I'll look after him now. Oros wouldn't want him to be lonely. Thank you, Rook. So Belara has an increased bond with me now. What's her relationship with me now? Belara. She's okay with me. But two more skill points, that's nice. That's them then. Hmm. <clears throat> what else do we need to do? That's a gift. Ravine. Bucktown. Champion. Hmm. I have to do that too. I kind of want to go to Docktown to see more again. I did just do a bunch of side quests, so maybe we do that. Let's go to Docktown. And I know there's new quests there and I can help them out, but... So the Cobbled Swan... Morgan is over this way. No. Where is she? I have no idea. Oh, way over here. Okay. Let's go this way then. Docktown's never short on nightlife, is it? In my favorite cereal, there's a showdown in a secret market that only opens every third full moon. Huh. What moon is it now? Is it real? Can we go there? Hey, yeah. And now a dragon. What's happening to this city? I heard. Oh, what are I we doing? There was something I could do. Let's talk to Morrigan. And Harding's here too. Oh, we haven't talked Why to Morrigan, Morrigan very much. Morrigan want to meet in Minrathis. Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed, but today we have a guest, and she needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. The Inquisitor! Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Lavellen, the woman who led us all. Oh my goodness. I know I couldn't get my Inquisitor exactly how I wanted her to be, but she still looks really cute. I greet you. Andaran Atashan. Anathara. I wish we could be meeting without our gods threatening to blight the world. A blight that spreads wider Even with the each same passing voice. heartbeat. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put and together her prosthetic an impressive is team, so cool. and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elganan and Gilanane. Oh my goodness. This is on you. Wow, you can be a real jerk about it. Yeah, you can count on me. Your prosthetic is so cool. I won't let you down. Don't worry about me. Worry about the people you've recruited and about the people depending on you. I only sealed the breach because I had people like Cassandra, Leliana, and Cullen with me from the start. Without Dorian's magic and Josephine's diplomacy, we never would have come together to stop Corypheus. Years later, I had to disband the Inquisition. But I never lost the friends who had gotten me through it all. Ultimately, they're the only ones you can really count on. Do right by them, and you'll find your way. We've got the makings of a good team, I think. We'll do our best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do her best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. 
A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. Oh, it's man. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. She has not been idle while you assembled your team. Questions? What about the South? I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the South? Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the North. But the forces they deployed to the South, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Vorle. Valrio and Halamshiral are barely holding out. Ferelden would have fallen already, if not for help from Orzammar. With Denerim lost, the Ferelden's are holding the line at Redcliffe. The Free Marches mm. have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Valen led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Wow. Maker, we didn't know. My ma. Don't worry. I called in a favor with the Divine. Your mother's safe with some old friends. Thank you. The Inquisition might be gone, but my name still carries some weight. I've used it to get people working together where they can. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thedas doesn't fall to the Blight. How are you even here? If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Illuvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Illuvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's fear of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet her. Army spies or connections? Man, what do I choose? I feel like I need connections more? I don't know, man. I'm just going off the seat of my pants. I haven't looked any. I haven't looked anything up about this game. I guess corrections. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My political strength? Tevinta hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. Hmm. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. She brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him. Somehow. Solus hmm. is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Huh. He is helping. I don't... I don't necessarily trust him, but I don't not trust him. He is trapped, but he is helping. Right now, Solus is giving us the information we need to track down the gods. Yes, he is a vital source of information and advice, just as he was to the Inquisition before. He is the Dread Wolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many alliances do you think he has made and broken? Solus was important to me. Hmm. If this statuette helps you understand him, if it uncovers something that... Honestly, I don't know. I wish I did. But this feels like a part of him. And whatever he and I once were, I think, I, I hope, it might help you. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. It feels so Rook, weird not controlling her. 
If I come across anything else that can help, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Oh, man. I actually met the Inquisitor. Oh, that's so cool, though. Father. Gives me an allowance and I Father. I could donate okay. So we actually met our Inquisitor. That's so cool. Anyways, we need to take it back to the lighthouse and search for more. I'm assuming we'll need to do more of the uh, champions and clearing the blight. Ravain. Let's go back to the lighthouse for now. And... World... Lighthouse. We'll see what we can find here. Oh, it's so cool to see my Inquisitor. It's not exactly what I was going for, but it's good enough. Uh, though the circumstances prompting our meeting were perhaps not what either of us would have chosen, I'm glad we did speak. I'd heard of you from Farrak of course, and Harding spoke, and continues to speak highly of you. However, the greatest vote of confidence come from Morrigan. She's always had a knack for spotting those who might shift the foundations of the world, even if we don't know it yet. So it was she who suggested we meet, and as always, heeding her house of food for the wise decision. Unfortunately, I send grim tidings. The echoes of soulless ritual and the escape of the gods ring across the south, and the smell of war is heavy in the air. In Orlea, a splinter of faction of the nobility has been common cause of the Venatori, and launched an assault on both the royal forces of Orlea and the border keeps of Ferelden. On Tom Corsair's rash shipping out of Oswick and to the far southern wilds, blight has emerged once more. Dark spun in greater numbers and have spotted near the ruins of Ostagar. But I told you to leave this out to me, and I stand by that. I share this news, not to ask for help, but to remind you that you and your people are not alone. The girl, the gods stir up the greatest evils in Thetis, yet its people stand stalwart and resolute. Take care of the gods in the north, and I'll make sure that the south handles itself. And when this is all over, I will drink to victory. First round's on me. Uh, what's this one? Uh, the vault overseer. Make sure someone has an idea. I and the relic she helped bring us back. She gave me a dirty leak whenever I try and get close. Even hissed me one time. I suppose we can't take the risk. Something definitely did something to make them even more dangerous. I'm not sure who they are or why they did it. An enemy of the Veil Jumper? Someone dedicated to chaos? Either way, a lot more of us would be dead if you had come along when you did, so thank you. Thank you for figuring out what happened to Tainor and Oros. Gus is adjusting life without them, I think. Eating well, and me and the other Veil Jumpers playing what they can. He still screams if I try to remove Oros' old backpack from his hutch. You ever hear a nug scream? It's bone chilling. Things have been terrible lately, but having Gus around me helps get through it. He really does put a smile on everyone's face. Thank you for bringing him home. Oh. Okay. So we need to figure out what we do with this thing in the... There. Oh, hi Tosh. What's this? Oh, not that. Hi Tosh, what you doing in here? Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep, for gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. <laughs> undies. So what do you do? So why do the lords of fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies. Hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. Hmm. Right. Have fun. No stealing, okay, though. Feel free to use the ancient elven artifacts for weight training, but nothing leaves with you, okay? Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. I mean, aren't you, though? Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. 
and we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. Cool. What does your mother do? Oh no, that's Ravani. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us, but that was before the Antam invaded Ravain. And now Ravain sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravain's official navy. But we're also <laughs> helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. Hmm. That's kind of cool. But what does your mom do? So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural? You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich nobles collection. The Lords send that stuff back to the Kunari in Parvalin. They pay the lords a finder's fee. For the Dalish, too? I hope the lords of fortune have a similar arrangement with the Dalish. Yep. Dalish guy named Shiv. He tells us what's probably cursed and what's important to his people. And, uh, Shiv doesn't mind your people robbing Dalish tombs? We don't rob tombs. Only assholes rob tombs. We rob old armories and crap. Sometimes the Dalish warn us off a of ruin. Sometimes they ask us for help getting in. The Lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kunari history. The Lords gave her work. That's cool. <laughs> well, I'll leave you with the gold. All right, I guess I'll just leave you here. A treasure hunter with all the priceless artifacts. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along, if you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. All right, just let me know when. Okay. <laughs> oh. Something about her just, you know. Okay, so there's something. I wanna track this one. Let's see what's in there. Something going on, yeah? Stairs? Oh, there's a pedestal. Regret. I did say this was a game about regret. Oh, big old flashbang. You cannot do this, Algonan. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mithal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. Hmm. So is this the war with the Forgotten Ones? It's going on quite a while. Interesting. That was strange. They were speaking, Alvin, but oh, everybody I was watching. It. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the dread wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods. Well, mine and Davrin's and Rook's. Lots of revelations, but bad. It's not every day you witness the start of a religion. I wonder if they're all this disappointing. I wish they were monsters. Something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than Tevinter nobles. But no worse, either. They were people. And people can let you down. All right, what else can we take from this memory? Elgrinon was hungry for power. 
did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elganon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgernon over him. A betrayal. Uh. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, she's like, they need wisdom and something to believe in. It's like, okay, well, give him things to work for. Work towards building up your culture. Don't install yourself as this almighty god so that you can present all this wisdom to people just because you were the general who won a war. Because that's what they were. Generals and command positions. Yeah. I guess he would be angry because he's like, let's rework on rebuilding, not setting ourselves up as but Because I'm, I'm assuming this was a war with the Forgotten Wardens or the Titans or something. So I don't know. It sounded like Solus was loyal to Mithal. What did Elgernon call him? Mithal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elgernon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elgernon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regrets. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. Hmm. The way she slaps her knees. <laughs> Interesting. So that's one. There's another one up here. Are those the rest of the three statues? Yeah. There's something to do with the Alluvians there. Tosh has some sort of thing for us. Oh, Davern has something. Oh no, not Davern. Emmer. I'm sorry but I find it completely unnatural. I don't get why you think cremation's so bad. Everyone outside Navarra burns their dead. All those lost vessels, fine mansions reduced to ash. Manfred, for instance, how would his wisp have fared if I hadn't given it a body? <laughs> Where does body come from anyway? Where or who'd you get his body from? There was no single donor. The arms were recovered from a charnel pit. The ribs were a gift from a dear friend. And Manfred's wisp picked out his own skull from some donations. That was quite the day. He's been fine company during my necropolis excursions ever since. No. How smart is he? What does Manfred understand exactly? Simple things, but he grows. Spirits of curiosity are voracious learners. All the things the packed into his body. The more sophisticated his conclusions. With guidance, of course. So he'll talk by the end of the game? Sure, right back at you, Manfred. Yep, same to you. It's just Manfred's way of saying hello. I encountered him as a wisp in the necropolis years ago. A simple spirit, but so curious, he refused to leave my side. So, you built a skeleton for the spirit to live in? Spirits are formed from the emotions and desires of people in the mortal realm. Manfred's wisp came from curiosity. It's these spirits which animate the dead. Their drive revives the corpse, yet the corpse colors their actions. Thus, the eternal question, are undead inhuman spirits puppeting a body, 
or does some shade of the departed return? Huh. Beepy. Uh. I mean, there's really no way to know. I mean, it'd be cool. It's got to bring back a little peace, at least. That's my belief as well. I swear I could see it sometimes, Rook. A glint of recognition of something more in the dead. Hey, that's my sleeve. Are you trying to steal my buttons? <laughs> as well as a certain mischievousness, Manfred. Don't steal her buttons. Oh, that is cute. <sighs> Okay. Anybody else want to talk to us? Tosh, ooh, Davern and Lucanus and Ballara. Got lots of people to talk to. I'm actually not sure how long this episode's gone on, but I kind of want to talk to a little bit more people. I mean, I did say we'd do more side quest kind of things before we did anything else. Davern, Davern, Davern. It looks like our boy Hassan is feeling his oats. Or whatever Griffins feel. He's getting the hang of it. When he listens. He seems to be able to handle himself so far. <laughs> He's you so cute. You got the Gloom Howler didn't tear you to pieces, boy. You wait for my command. We attack together. Then we can kill stuff like that. At least he's learning. The instincts kick in. Griffin see dark spawn and it's a fight to the death, like wolves hunting deer. Hmm. Just need to corral it. Glad I'm not a deer. Never be a deer. Good to know. He'd probably leave them alone. Probably. You and I see a deer. Maybe he sees venison souffle. Hmm. Every muscle in him. Every talon, every feather, honed into a killing machine. Hassan's ancestors took on archdemons. Wow. Like his name says, he's an arrow. I wonder half how lion, big they get. eagle, with the instincts of both, griffins will always be hunters. Just like his daddy, Davrin. What? <laughs> I suppose we are our nature. What? Not sure about that? Most of my life, I've hunted the darker things in the world. But caring for a griffin? What do I know about that? Yet here I am. That's not so bad, is it? Not the path I expected. Makes me wonder about a son, his brothers and sisters, still young, pure. You're worried? I'm responsible for the future of every griffin alive. I want it to be a good one. These animals live to fight, but I wonder if there's another path for them. I mean, there is for everyone. I'd like to think everyone can find a new path, even Griffins. Just wish I knew what it was. Doesn't every good parent? <laughs> Parents, a scary word. I'm supposed to be his bodyguard. What do you think you've been doing this whole time? Trying to ignore it. If I get myself killed by a herlock, that's on me. If it's a son, I just don't want to mess it up. Ask being a parent, I think that's buddy. where trust comes in. That Turlum idea you keep talking about. Trust a son to find his way. Don't force things. He's headstrong. <laughs> Good thing you are, too. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat. No, I didn't get a chance to flirt with him, though. All right, looks Belara and Lucanus all had things to say. Let's go see Lucanus first. We should get fish next time we're in Menrathus. Hmm, fish. 
Hi, friend. Well, it's all as you left it. Close enough. I think the caretaker's been tidying up. Rook, now's not the best time to chat. Let's talk later. Later, then. You can't let me talk to you? Are you serious? That's just disappointing. I just wanted to say hi. I cannot say. Who oh. created you? I cannot say. What can you say? I cannot say. Oh, right. Deserve that. Got the Archive Spirit working, I see? Kinda. Look, you're here. And I did. Sort of. A little bit. It appears, but it won't tell me anything. You simply ask the wrong questions. A common affliction of the weak-minded. Mm. Also that. It's kind of mean. <laughs> insult it back. Just insult it right back. Assuming you know how to insult a spirit. I've never thought about it. H how would you do that? Emmerich might know. Hmm. Hmm, that is an idea. Syrian learned a lot, taught me a lot about these archives. They have, well, not thoughts like us, but sort of pathways, I guess. They can only respond to specific questions worded in specific ways. Like so, a computer. If you're powerful, like almost God level powerful, how would you talk to someone you see as lesser? Mm, condescendingly, I guess. Really condescendingly, based on experience so far. Right! You wouldn't ask questions, you'd tell them what to do, so let's try that. Archive, tell me who built you. One of the greatest of Elvenan, ah. a steward of her glory, truly. I was blessed to bathe in his warmth. Anaris built me, and to him I shall someday return. You mean the Forgotten One? I cannot say. Good point. That was us. Hmm. Anaris. What? Anaris. I know I've heard that name before. Yeah, a forgotten one. Remember the nursery rhymes? Don't speak their names or they'll come for you. Mm. Unlike our so-called good gods, which, well, we saw what happened there. So who knows what they really were? The forgotten ones. They used to say Solus was one, so best case scenario, like him? Worst case, well, you heard it talk. Right. So this thing's dangerous if it belonged to one of them. Could be, but still important and invaluable. Everything Anaris knew, this thing knows, and my people deserve to know. If I can get it to tell me. What about Solus? Archive, tell me about the Dread Wolf. An ideologue and a fool who will soon pay the price. When Anaris dispatches the Evanuris, he will spare a thought for Fen Harel. Hmm. What about the Evanuris? Archive, tell me about the Evanuris. A group of cowards hiding behind their more powerful magic and superior numbers. Their jealousy of Anaris was palpable. Their war is unending. But Anaris will prevail. Hmm. Do what you need to. You've got a chance to learn more about our people. Go for it. Just be careful. And try not to break anything. Right. Thanks, Rook. All thanks must be given to Anaris, for he will cast down the oppressive Evanuris and take his rightful place. What a shame. I can't stay longer. Hmm. Good luck. Appreciate the support. Interesting. Oh, that's how I was going to give her a gift. Wow, thank you. What is it? So 
this is the bird to fall in. I don't know where the uh, other two statues that we were supposed to do are. Hmm. I don't know where they are. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I mean, we could go do this. Go see that. And maybe we could go beat that. Go see what's going on in the necropolis. I mean, we have two things. In Ravain. So maybe we'll go there right away. Uh. Nobody else really wants to talk besides Tosh. So, that's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.